Hello everyone, it's a Canadian Wi-Fi here. Um changing it up from rain, standard rain. Um and if you thought I was a whore before, I apologize <laughs> because this is not gonna be fun for you to watch. But it is actually an amazing, an amazing match. And um so anyway, um I guess we'll just get to the match. This was an old sand team that I had that I found earlier today. And I revitalized a little. Um, this is all Manitar. He is all man, really. He legit is. Predict the earthquake. I'm gonna go out to this thing. Get the toxic orb because last game I flung it before I even activated it, and I felt like a moron. So I'm gonna fling it on Don Fan because I have a feeling Don Fan can be a little hard to kill him. So um, getting it toxic would be nice, and it's not a steel type, so it'll actually work. Ice shard, unstabbed, and only 40 base power does a ton. <laughs> it's physical, so um. That shows how weak this score is to ice, really. Um, and I'm gonna go for an earthquake, and it doesn't do that much. He's gonna switch out into this thing, and this thing is why this match is a million turns long. Um, who would have thought Tojikiss in OU would be such a pain? But it is. It is the biggest pain you've ever seen. He's gonna go for the air slash, and it brings me down a lot. It does 51, which means it's pretty much a 2 at KO. Um... Well, not really, because I have Protect, but it's a guaranteed 3 at KO. And uh, he also has Roost. So, um, I am going to go to fast speed, and I'm going to speed this up for you guys. Um, oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, 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 I'm going to speed it up. He's going to go for the Air Slash. I go out to 1 Cent Jelly, and it still does a lot. And I'm like, well, dang. <laughs> um, now what can I do? Okay. He's going to go out to that thing. Oops, sorry. He's going to go out to that thing, and um, I'm just going to go for the Recover and Recover Up. I wanted to go for the Scald to get a burn, and he Volt switches right out to Darmanitan. I get the Scald, I get the Crit, and his Darmanitan is gone. Don't know if it mattered, but uh, it probably mattered a little. Here comes Whimsicott, and he Encores me. And I actually went for the Toxic, and then he Encored. I'm like, you know what? Let's stay in and Scald a little bit. Um, see if I can get a burn, because that would really help me kill it. It won't be able to subseed because I'd be losing HP. And uh, when I really want the burn, I'm not going to get the burn, even if I go for it three times, which should theoretically give me the burn. It's not going to give me the burn, which, um, it, it, it's annoying. It's annoying. Especially because he has me seated now, there's no way I want to stay in. But for some reason, he... Okay, apparently I did want to stay in. I, I was really persistent for that burn there. Um, he's gonna pull a crap load of double switches here, and I'm gonna go back out to Gluskor because he had, um, Cobalion. Um, he's gonna do, like, his fifth double switch in a row. I'm gonna go Acrobatics, and it only does a quarter, and I'm like, oh boy, it's a dead-on three at KO. That is not good because he can just roost, and I'm faster, so I'll never be able to Earthquake, and this is gonna take forever. So I'm just gonna keep acrobaticing, acrobaticing. He's gonna keep air slashing, and one of these turns right here, I'm gonna slow it down to normal. Um, one of these turns right here, yeah, he roosts there, and I'm back up to like 60ish percent, I think. Um, and yeah, okay, I'm gonna protect. He's gonna roost. It really is just uh, a huge amount of stall. Um. Here is the turn. I switch out, and I'm at like 70, so an air slash is really obvious. And he goes Aura Sphere for no reason. That would have been resisted. It would have done nothing. And it just wrecked my Tyranitar. So if that was a prediction out of the blue, that was possibly the greatest prediction I think I've ever seen. And then he goes right back to... Oh, never mind. I was going to say, then he goes right back to air slash. I thought he did, but he doesn't. Um. So I think he switches out here, maybe... No, he's just gonna try to kill me back up to fast because this is a really long match, especially with after turn effects, and I don't wanna be here for ten hours narrating this, just like you guys don't wanna sit on your computer chairs for ten hours watching this. Thumbs up if you're on a computer chair. Um, so he's gonna air slash and I go back into Gliscor, which isn't a good play. Um I'm gonna protect, try to get a little more lefties. Um, I was hoping maybe somewhere, maybe he won't, but maybe, maybe he could miss an air slash, but Anyway, I'm going to go to this thing. He's going to air slash. And like I thought, it does like 10. And, um, either way, an Aura Sphere is going to 2 it KO me. So, or an Aura Sphere will be the second half of the 2 it KO. So, um, 
Yeah, I just kind of sack that thing. I go with this, and I'm like, maybe a rock slide will kill. Okay, maybe it'll flinch. And no, neither. And then he um, aura speared me. And I'm like, all right. He's probably going to predict me. And this this is important. He's probably going to predict me. So I'm going to go for the swords dance here. Because um, one more hit, I would die to life orb. But I wanted to see what he switched into. So I didn't waste that last hit. And now I can just go for the earthquake. And, um... That's gonna kill Dawn Fan, which was a pain, to be perfectly honest. It was gonna be a pain to try to kill. So I'm lucky I got that out of the way. And, um... In comes Mew. And he has a scarfed Mew with Ice Beam. And that was just like, what? Alright. Um, so he's gonna call it back and go back to Kabalion, which I have no problem with. I was figuring a Volt Switch here, maybe, is the worst. Which is what he does, and it still doesn't do that much. So I'm like, alright, I'm just going to set up spikes all over your face because they are going to come in very, 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 very handy. He uses this turn to roost up, and I realize, oh, crap, okay, i got to start doing damage. And that would have killed him if he didn't roost, so it was a good play by him. Well, it was an obvious play by him, but nevertheless, good play isn't always the obvious play. Um, I'm going to roost as well because I realize I'm getting a little low. And, um, he T-waves here. Don't really know why. Maybe just wants the other bit of the Paraflinch combo. I'm going to Whirlwind to get him the heck out of there. Because I'm sick and tired of seeing that Togekiss on my screen. He's going to Leech Seed. I just want that last layer of spikes. I would have stayed in there till I died. I wanted all three layers to be doing 25%. Um, so now, instead of Whirlwinding, I go to this thing. Because I predict the Encore. Which he does, and it fails. So I'm going to protect here, I think, for no reason, which was a dumb, dumb play. No, I don't. I make a good play. Not acrobatics. And I get min-max, and I go up to 37 instead of 33. And here I protect, so I'll be able to live an air slash. And he roosts. And I'm like, oh my god, you're retarded, Richard. Uh, so um, I acrobatics again. And I'm about to show you the chat, ladies and gentlemen, because this was golden. Um, I'll cut to the chat right here. I'll pause and cut to the chat. Or no, I'll I'll try to do dual screen. I don't know. But I get a crit acrobatics. And in the chat, he just asked, Do you like the kiss man? And I was about to put type in, yeah. And then I type in exit. It was like, oh my god, that was the funniest thing I think I've ever seen. Because it was annoying the crap out of me. Yeah, lucky bastard. So, um... That was amazing. Anyway, um, he goes down. This is a bit of post narration just to fill the gap because I couldn't figure out how to split screen because I'm an idiot. He goes down in the Mew. Um, this video is really slow. I am going to protect. And um, he's gonna ice beam here, and um, I protect to gain a little more lefties. It's gonna go back to normal now. The speed of the video. Um, so he's gonna call his Mew back. Go back out into Kabalion. I think I just go Earthquake. No, that would have been a good play. Of course, I don't make a good play. Um, I just get lucky, apparently, because I'm a lucky bastard. But if you watch some of my other matches, I'm the most unlucky kid. Uh, Iron Head is going to obviously kill off my one cent jelly. And I can go back into Gliscor. And I make a dumb play here. Iron Head. And um, I Earthquake. And instead of just Earthquaking again here and killing them, I go for a protect for no reason, even though it won't bring me back into the range where we'll be able to survive another iron head, I think. Wait, is it? Yeah, it is. Um, but I, no, here's the dumb play. I go for another protect. That was a really dumb play, because if I just went for the earthquake, I would have killed him off, and the double protect, I, I don't know what I was doing, but I know I need to save Gliscor, so I go to Starmory, um, which is an nacho reference because he screwed up on the name once and it was really funny and now i think i just start whirlwinding no i should have definitely whirlwinded or do i predict his switch and go to gliscor i do something i don't know it was apparently a good play because now i can protect get back up to a range where we'll be able to live in iron head um he actually psychics which means i can easily switch into the scarfed psychic with my starmory and um with the Starmory, um, I can take it, and uh, it still does a lot, even with the resist, and I, t oh, I told myself, if I get the para here, and I lose because of this para, I'm going to kill someone, and I don't, and I get the roost up, 
and um, that's pretty much oops, sorry for the mic that's pretty much GG um, as you can tell this is a long long match turn 53 but I think here yeah he dies and I whirlwind but there's no target and this is just amazing and send in whiz, whim, whims, whimsicott yeah, there we go there we go whimsicott and I'm gonna brave bird and take out the whimsicott and last but not least he has a uh, a Mew, which dies to entry hazards, which is a beautiful game. That was one of the better games I think I've played. Not ever, but man, it was a hell of a match. And although it was sand, and although it was nearly 11 minutes long, um, with speeding up, I hope you guys enjoyed it because it was a it was a great match. Look at all the crap all over the field at the end of this battle. Stealth rocks, a metal bird. Leech seeds, three layers of spikes, para, like it, it, it was a heck of a match. I mean, all I had left was uh, Gliscor, 26%. So I mean, it wasn't about to live anything major. Anyway, um, it was a great game, Flash Ganon, and um, hope you guys r like this battle because I don't know if you're getting any battles better than this one. I mean, you can get them a lot less hoary, but this is standard OU for you. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully some UU coming next. Maybe, maybe. I doubt it. I'll have to go through all my OU matches first before I start playing OU. And I have to make a... Or before I start playing UU, I have to make a normal UU team. Because I don't have any good ones. But, um... Hope you guys enjoyed. And peace.